Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Please check audio video okay or not? Check audio video okay or not? Right. I hope all the people came. Can I start now? Right. Yeah, let, let's start now. Let's start now. Right, I am starting now. So, is audio video is okay? Hi, hi. Is audio video is okay? Right. So, topic name is Algo and DS. Topic name is Algo and DS. So, that in Algo and DS, in Algo and DS, let's see the let's see the first topic. Let's see the first topic. How to find out time complexity. Algo and DS. Let's see the first topic called right? time complex. Right.
Yeah. So first topic is finding time complexity. Can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? Right. Right. Time complexity. So we'll see the first topic time complexity. Tomorrow we'll see one more topic like that, like that, right? See this one. Like that approximately 20 days, 25 days. Approximately 25 days. Every day one one topic we will cover. Every day one one topic we will cover, right? So how to find out time complexity? So after completion of the time complexity, we will see how to find out space complexity also. After time complexity is over, we will see how to find out space complexity also. How to find out space complexity also. Right? Fine. So, let's see the first one. See the first one. I think here it's okay. Yeah. Time complexity. Yeah, I think it's going a little over. Right, let's see this one. Is it okay now? I think. So I didn't use this board that much till now. Yeah, because the first time I am using some problems I am facing tomorrow, tomorrow mostly it will be okay. Time complexity finding. Right, start now. Everyone, everyone start now. How to find out time complexity? See this one. Every year, every year from this topic time complexity, every year from this topic time complexity, you are able to see, you are able to see one question. Every year, two marks are coming. Every year, two marks are coming. Suppose, suppose this in that, right? Suppose this in that, most probably, most probably one question will come in the gate exam. Right? If, if at all it don't come also, no problem. You go for any competitive exam. Definitely, you will see one question from the time complexity. And uh, and in, in your real life also, right? When you, are a, when you become a programmer, when you become a developer, every day, every day it is needed. The, my best suggestion to all of you is, right? Be comfortable with this. Be comfortable. How to find out time complexity? Be comfortable. Right? So, I am starting now. I am starting. How to find out time complexity? Take the first problem. Take the first problem. May. So I, I will give approximately I will give 10 to 15 problems. I will give approximately 10 to 15 problems. This is the compulsory will come in the gate examination. Time complexity finding. Compulsory will come in the gate examination. So I am starting. It is the first problem. It is the first problem. May x is equal to y plus z main x is equal to y plus z it is a program those people who knows right please let me know what the time complexity of this problem those people those people who knows please let me know what the time complexity of this program it is the first program It is the first program, right? Please find out what will be the time complexed. Please let me know what is the time complexity of this program.
all the people whoever is watching right main x is equal to y plus z what is the time complexity now listen listen everyone so time complexity of this program is what right if you want to find out time complexity what the first thing you do is everyone it is the first program if you okay this one next one will be okay next one will be okay next one will be okay like that like that 15 problems if you okay any time complexity you can handle main x is equal to y plus z what is the time complexity if you want to find out time complexity of any program the first thing what you are going to do is identify identify how many lines are there in the program identify how many lines are there in this program right identify how many lines can you help me now in this program how many lines are there one line is there if you want to find out time complexity, the first thing what you have to do is identify how many lines are there in this program. I think one line. One line means one statement. One statement there. In this program, one statement is there. Okay, fine. That is also okay. If you want to find out time complexity, the first thing what you have to do is identify how many statements are there. Okay, one statement is there. Next one. Can I help you now? Next one. Next one. See this one. Whenever, whenever this program is running, whenever this program is running, the statement, whatever, right, one statement is there. Whenever this program is running, this statement is, right, executing how many times? One statement is there, it's okay. Whenever this program is running, this statement will execute how many times? This statement will execute one time, one time. Am I right or not? This is called order of magnitude. While running, while running, this statement will execute how many times? One time. While running, while running this program, this statement will execute how many times? One time. Which is known as order of magnitude. This is known as, see this one. Order of magnitude. I am writing here. Order of magnitude. This is called order of magnitude. Right? This is called order of magnitude. Okay, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Yeah, this is called order of magnitude. So while running this program, this statement will execute how many times? One time. This one is known as order of magnitude. So, after finding order of magnitude, order of magnitude is 1, listen, order of magnitude is 1, so time complexity is theta of 1, time complexity is theta of 1, just to find the order of magnitude, right, time complexity is theta of 1, time complexity is theta of 1. I hope everyone is fine. If anyone having small doubt, please let me know. If anyone is having small doubt, please let me know. Let me know if anyone having any doubt.
Yeah, is it fine now? Yeah, next one. Next one. See this one. See everyone. Some people are asking why theta? Why not big O? Theta means you can use big O also. You can use omega also. I am repeating once again. If you want to find out time complexity, first identify how many statements. Next one. Afterwards, while, right? Afterwards, while running this program, every statement execute how many times? While running this program, this statement will execute one time, which is known as order of magnitude. After getting the one, just write theta of one. Theta means you can keep big O also. You can keep omega also. This can be written as reason. This can be written as big O of one also. This can be written as omega of one also. Both are correct. Theta means big O you can write, omega you can write. Theta means you can write big O also, you can write omega also. Check anyone having any doubt, please let me know. Right, fine, fine, that's okay, that's okay. Right? Is if you okay, I can go to the next one. If you okay, I can go to the next problem. If you okay, I can go to the next problem. Can I go to next? Yeah, let's go to next. Let's go to next. Example 2. Right? Example 2. Yeah. So take this one. Right. See this one. Main. x is equal to y plus z 